thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Lumera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> <sighs> Lumera. I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I. And to leave a child behind, I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vow to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now... Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firene, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... cracked, almost crumbling. The Corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes, corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firene. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last divine dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firene. And only you can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firene. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firene has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway, to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firene's request for aid. That's great to hear. Thank you, Divine One. Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred.
We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a Divine Dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a Divine Dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one. But don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait. It's familiar, somehow. Even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firene. Yes. It is good that we can talk after I spent so long silently watching over you. I know what you mean. I'm really glad to have you at my side, supporting me in person. You see?
You know... You know... Yes. Right. Right. Yes! If I may...
Oh! You see... Whew. I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander. But I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me, but I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. not distracting me. Oops, sorry, sorry. See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a fan club? Yep, our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh, thanks for cheering me on. But could you maybe not do it so close? You bet, I can stand back a little. Three, two, one! Who's our favorite dragon? You! You! Y O U! <sighs> that didn't help.
Yes, 